Old Alabama Gardener here. Today I'm going to be talking about growing bell peppers or sweet peppers. I'm going to plant half of this tray with bell peppers and the other half with eggplant. I'm placing one pepper seed in each soil block. Now cover the seeds with about a half of an inch of the same potting soil you made the blocks out of. I like to firm the soil covering down so that there's a good contact with the seeds. When you plant something, whether it's seeds or plants, always, always water it well. The plants on the left are peppers and the larger plants on the right are eggplant. I've put about three inches of potting soil in the bottom of this one gallon pot and now I'm going to add about a tablespoon of triple 13 fertilizer. Now you want to cover that fertilizer with about an inch of potting soil so that when you set the pepper plant in there it's not setting on the fertilizer because the fertilizer will burn the roots. This is just a little tool I've made to help me get the soil block and plant out of the tray without tearing up the blocks and disturbing the roots. You'll see how I am going to use it here in just a minute. Okay, so let's get started with our potting up now. You may be wondering why I pot plants up instead of going directly into the garden soil. And the answer is that my garden is right now cold and wet and the ground is just not ready to receive these plants. So by potting them up, I actually gain growing time. The plants are growing in the pot, waiting for the soil to get ready. Now look at the nice root mass on that plant. And it's going to go into the pot without transplant shock. Now we got the plant in the pot and you know what comes next. Water it well and watch it grow. Okay, let's do one more and we'll do it rather quickly. Yep, we got to give it some water. Otherwise it isn't going to grow. In preparation for planting, first thing I'm going to do is lay out my row. Now I'm going to set these plants about three feet apart. So I'm going to take the little pieces of wood and stick them in the ground along my ruler so I'll know where to dig the holes. Now first I'll go down one side of each of the little pieces of wood and I'm really just marking where the side of the hole is going to be. Then I'll come back down the other side and do the same thing. Now I've got the location of the holes marked so I can remove the little pieces of wood and begin digging the holes. You may be asking, uh, do I really need this big of a hole? But remember, I've got those plants growing in one gallon pots. 
and I'm going to be adding some compost to each of these holes so I want it to be big enough. Now I'm going to start by adding uh, two, three, maybe four handfuls of compost into the bottom of each planting hole. Now I'm adding a heaping handful of worm castings to each hole. Peppers, just like tomatoes, benefit from Epsom salt, so we're going to add about a tablespoon to each planting hole. Now add about a quarter cup of triple 13 fertilizer. Carefully turn the plant upside down, gently shake it out of the pot and set it in the hole. Now I'm adding even still more compost around the outside of that plant. Now you can just start pulling the loose dirt back in, fill the hole completely up, and be sure to cover the top of the root ball. Now I'm going to add about another tablespoon of triple 13 as a top or as a side dressing uh, for this plant. Cover that with a little bit of compost and then pull some more dirt over the top of that. Now to prevent a cutworm from killing this plant, I'm placing a little small stem, uh, or you could even use a toothpick, right against the plant itself. Now one of the ways that I like uh, green bell pepper cooked the best is as a tempura style. So that's what you see my wife cooking here. On the drain tray just to the right of the skillet is some uh, tempura okra and some tempura green beans. 